Hi guys, it's Mrs. Nielsen again. So we just learned about germination and we read a book about how a, one seed grew into a plant that made many seeds because it made bean pods. Well, this is a seed that you might see in your mom's house. These are <clears throat> lima beans. They come in a bag and any kind of beans you might, mom might buy uh, would be fine too. They come in a bag and mom might cook them and you eat them for dinner. You see, they're in a bag and they're not grow against the plants, right? Look, I'm going to take some out here, and here's what they look like. Just like the ones we saw in the story. See? They're hard, and they're dry. They don't look like anything, really. It looks like a, a seed. But I'm going to show you what you could do with these seeds. You could use any type of bean your mom might have in the house. You could even use corn kernels, because they're a seed. You take a couple of seeds and soak them in water overnight in a cup. And look what happens when you do that. Mrs. Nielsen already did that. This seed got this big. Could you see that over here? I'm gonna pick the bigger ones up. It was originally this size. And when I soaked it in the water overnight, it got much bigger. Well, this one's been soaking for about a day or two. So that's why it got even bigger. What do you think's happening? The seed is absorbing the water. Do you remember that word from when we learned about water? It's absorbing the water and it's making the water go inside. So it's making it get nice and puffy and big. It's keeping the water inside. The seed coat is getting much softer than it was here. Kind of like wrinkly-ish too, if you look really close. Well, if you take the seed that you soaked overnight and you put it on a wet paper towel, take a paper towel, fold it in half, wet it really good, and then rinse, squeeze it out. Pull it down like that and like that, and you put the seed on the wet paper towel. It doesn't make you soaking wet, but really wet enough so that you could feel it. And then you put it in a Ziploc bag, like I did. I did that over here. Could you see that here? I have three or four of them in here. Actually, there was four. One, two, three. And this fourth one was in here, too. Put it in a Ziploc bag and close it shut. Then put this bag in a nice sunny window. Do you remember why we have to put it in the window? Well, the sun. Because a plant needs sun and water to grow. It's going to get the moisture or the water from the wet paper towel. And it's going to get the sun from the window. Then check back the next day and the next day after that for a couple of days and look what you're going to find out. You're going to see something like this. Could you see that? I'm going to put it really close. The seed is starting to open up and there's this little baby plant coming out. This is the root of the plant and it's going to grow downward. And then a little bit more on the next day, I'm gonna put it back in my bag and I'm gonna put it back in the window. The next day, I'm gonna see more root come out and I'm gonna see leaves start to come out. That's the baby plant. It's called the embryo and it's starting to grow. When I see the leaves grow and the, the roots starting to grow, I'm gonna take it out of the bag and I'm gonna plant them in soil. So this way I could grow my own lima bean plant. I'm going to do this and I'm going to keep track of it and then I'm going to show it to you what happens. So I'd like to see if maybe you could guys could try this at home. So let's see what we learned so far so we can remember when we do it. What's happening? Well, is it a pause to the seed? Remember in the story they told us about the seed. The seed has a hard coat on the outside. It's called the seed coat. It protects it. And inside the plant is the baby plant called the embryo. The baby plant wants to come out and grow into a big plant, but it won't in this bag, will it? Will we see a bunch of plants growing in this bag? No way, because they don't have the moisture or the water they need, and they don't have the sunlight. So what we're going to do is you're going to do, if you could do it at home with mommy, you are going to put your seed on a wet based paper towel and put it in the window so that it may sprout which will start to grow. And then this baby plant will come out. All the rest of the stuff inside the seed is the food for the plant. 
the water is going to soak in there, mix with the food, and the baby plants are going to get energy and want to come out. And then we're going to have the life cycle of the lima bean plant. The seed is going to begin to sprout. And our little roots are coming out. And then down here, here come more roots and the leaves. Then it's going to grow into a little tiny baby plant. This is when you could take it out of the bag and replant it into the dirt. Could you see that part right there? That's when the baby plant is called a seedling. Could you say that? A seedling. And when we plant it into the dirt, so it could get nutrients and more water when you water it, it will grow into a full-grown bean plant. And if you leave it long enough and take, it, take care of it long enough, you'll even get beans pods growing on it. First, the little flowers will come, then the bean pods, and inside the bean pods are going to be more seeds so that you could start the life cycle over again. Or you could just take the beans and eat them like you might for dinner. Well, I hope you have fun if you try this. Remember, you could try any seed you have. It could be a pink bean. It could be a lima bean. It could be a green bean, it could be any bean, even a popcorn seed might work if you take care of it right, okay? So ask mommy if you could do this little project and put some lima beans in a Ziploc bag with a wet, moist paper towel, not too, too wet, and then hang it in a sunny window so that it will grow into a bean plant that you could take care of and have of your own. Have fun. Talk to you later. Miss you. Bye, guys.